We're each busting a load into this bottle. This causes atrophy. It causes the muscles in her vagina to collapse. If I stop, it's going to close up and create a bubble. And that bubble could literally create an infection that could... So hey ladies and gentlemen, if you come over here, it's about the whole LGBTQ agenda that is actually haunting a bunch of mommies that are aware or not aware. And I'm going to give you a few examples so you can make your own choice if this is proper or not. Let's start with the first one. I don't care what ACLU says. I don't know if they've read these books. We know our rights as parents and we know that right now our rights are being infringed upon. So I'm going to read from from this book. I didn't want to. I have not had to do that up to this point. But considering that someone said that this book should go back on the shelf, and by the way, I'll pay the library fine. I'm not returning this book. So you can reorder it, whatever you're going to do. Hey, Elias, where'd you go? I'm in here with Mark and Bobby. Hey, guys, what you doing? Taking care of business. Have a seat. Huh? Why is it so dark in here? Can I come in now? No, you're too young. No, I'm not. Fine, but you'll have to prove it. I will. Uh-oh, I think I figured out what taking care of business means. We're each busting a load into this bottle. If you don't come, you have to drink it. Ha, ha, ha. Give me that. I'll show you. I learned about masturbation two years ago, kind of by accident. No one ever told me what it was. One day, when everyone was out of the house, I came across a videotape hidden behind the TV. My dad had hidden uh, movies before with dirty scenes, like Fatal Attraction. It was exciting to see boobs and butts, but this time it was different. I could see everything. People were doing things that I didn't even know were possible or even allowed. Thank you. Next. Why is there Hussein so much Hussein Galan would like to come to speak so to the big. board. Yes, thank you. I'm sorry. Hussein would like to come to speak to the the problem, you're not even allowed to speak because they consider it vulgar. But if they can read through your child in private, that's kind of normal. Don't you think this will confuse a child that is trying to understand what the heck is going on? Because remember, if your child likes pink, he might be a girl, he might be a transgender woman. But if you don't want your child to wear pink, they will say, hmm, the caller doesn't have any gender. So they can make you believe what they want to believe. But if you have your own opinion against their way of thinking, that's wrong. And guess what happened? to this mom this is the horror story of the moms that don't pay attention or the fathers but they're like i trust the freaking system and if you're a little to the right you won't even find out till it's too late and if you're on the left everybody glorifies you like yeah you're one of us that for a child to believe something you have to tell them 14 times before they start to believe it this was my daughter at night in ninth grade by the end of the year, three of the teachers that she had in her classrooms were repeating things to her. She began cutting herself. She became depressed. By the end of the school year, she was also calling herself by a different name. This parent was not informed of these things. I came in for an open house for art, and I saw her name was something different. I am her parent, and as a parent, I should be informed of these things. This is a mental health issue that needed to be addressed. So her second year, under the disguise of a fundraiser, one of the teachers who was encouraging her in these behaviors also um, took these children and had their heads shaved for a fundraiser so they'd look more like what they identified with. I just want to say that here I am today and my child has now removed her breasts, is taking testosterone, this causes atrophy. It causes the muscles in her vagina to collapse to the point of incontinence. But these are not the facts that anyone shares with you. I'm sorry. And it only takes 14 times for a child to start believing this. I'm asking this board to be monitoring what your teachers 
are saying to these children. I am asking you that these parents do not have to suffer through this like I have. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just gonna tell you what I believe and what I know is true in my personal experience. Yeah, anecdotal, cool, cool. Surprisingly, I can find a lot of anecdotal people thinking the same, but you keep silencing them. That's why it seems that I'm anecdotal. But the point is, the reason we have come so far is because people keep talking like this and the government thinks I have time to change, the school board thinks I have time to change, while your kid is going through that thing. thing. Most of these people that approve this testosterone and the things that they give you, they do it out of aim and if they go in that direction, they will start operating cutting parts and for a lifetime you will be dependable on these procedures forever. Nobody is telling you that. No, they're like, go, you're going in the right direction, keep going and they keep gaining a bunch of money. Two years ago I got gender reaffirming surgery. Here's a honest update do i regret it short answer is yes don't get me wrong i got it done twice it looks barbie why do i regret it well because i will never be able to live a normal life after the surgery you have to start dilating to keep the space they gave you you start from doing it four times a day to once a week for the rest of your life i was fine with that see the problem is i had major complications and now for some reason i need to do it every single fucking day now, obviously, I've had relations, and girls, we all know, guys don't fucking know what to do. So it's not really worth it to me. The problem is, I cannot stop. If I stop, it's going to close up and create a bubble. And that bubble could literally create an infection that could... The two options here are, I dilate for the rest of my life, or I get it removed surgically. Surgery goes for 70000 and I don't want to go through that again, so I guess I'm dilating. So you don't think that's about the money when you cut your pee, pee off and now you have to maintain the poom poom forever? Why? Th that's a horrible thing to tell a person and they're like, oh, but he, uh, he or she has this for you. He might snip himself. Well, then give him a different therapy, not a permanent change with a few sessions on a Zoom call. And I'm like, I'm not laughing because I want to laugh because I'm like, this is a stupidity that I saw back in the day in specific movies because we thought that would never happen. This, this was a joke in the 80s and now it's a reality. Come on. And you cannot even trust the doctors. The doctors will tell you what you want to hear. So I've been doing an experiment with my doctors. When I show up to new doctor's appointments and I have to explain the condition my body's in and why, if I say it was HRT related to transition, they treat me one way. But if I say I was abusing anabolic steroids, which is what that was, they treat me a different way. When I say the first one, uh, they get really weird and they say like, well, we like some of them will say like, oh, well, we don't know what the side effects are or it's safe or they get really defensive. And then if I, for example, I went to the ER the other week because I've been really, really sick and I was trying to explain my situation without going into detail or evoking gender ideology. So I just said I was on anabolic steroids, testosterone for six years. Uh, like, you know, not necessarily alluding to using it the way a bodybuilder would, but, you know, kind of that. They know what the consequences are when you say, I was a bodybuilder and I took gear. They know what the consequences are. And they tell you the things that that will do to your body and how that will damage your body. Unabashedly, unashamedly, they'll name it. It's the same substance. So I find myself often frequenting um, boards online of other former bodybuilders uh who took testosterone to ask them questions like how is your fertility uh were you were you able to carry a pregnancy to term how is the kid like all that stuff that i'm just not gonna get if i search through the lens of anything that evokes gender religion i'm just surprised that our people are defending this with passion as if there's nothing nothing is gonna happen because once there's too many people, their answer is going to be, well, too ma so many people is doing it anyway, so we better find a new solution. I'm like, nah, 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 what? <laughs> Not with the kids. Not with the kids. Like, share, hail the bell notification as usual, and spread the message. Spread the message. Protect the kids. Protect yourself.